Hey there, hello there, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter Dabbing welcoming you to another Degrassiism. Of course, this is a whole lot different than Degrassi um, popular opinion because this is just a topical video on Degrassi and not about unpopular opinion slash hot takes. So, this does have to do with sea duels. One of my first um, Degrassi unpopular opinions had to do with Emma's behavior in season four with how, you know, before Rick took a gun to the school and all that, we had the episode Mercy Street. And in Mercy Street, Paige and her clique are upset that Rick is back at Degrassi shaking Radish's hand with no strings attached. So the fact of the matter is that, you know, Emma finds out about Rick and needs to do something to get Rick out of the school. Marco and Alex tried to talk to Radich about the situation, but failed miserably. That deleted scene, stupidly cut out, could have made things hit or break, and all that. The simple fact is that, you know, they couldn't do anything. Emma decides to step in and block Rick from going down the hallway. Radich looks at Emma and says, please let him move. We don't want him at school. This is not one of your stupid crusades. Stay out of this. And then, you know, Emma allows Rick through. Rick smiles because he knows he's got an ally. Emma tries to help Paige out and realizes that, you know, Paige is upset because the school doesn't care about Rick. Well, what happens with Rick? They just want to be punitive, in a sense. And so Emma says that, well, I can help you out because Paige says, you're the cause girl. Let's do something about it. And then Emma then decides to snap back at um, Liberty and Manny for a few things. Of course, Paige joins, Emma joins the clique because Emma, Emma got herself kicked out because of her pettiness towards Liberty dating Chris and all that. And, you know, with me going backwards and actually randomly seeing that seed duel I did about why the heck Emma cared about if Chris moved on from her at the start of season four? And it's that Emma realizes that she's popular. She could be popular. She she has glow up and she could be great and all that. She wants to be just like Manny and be boy crazy. It gave me some pause. It's like, since when is Emma this judgmental and all that? Well, yeah, she's judgmental in a different sense, but man, this was weird. So yeah, so she... Agrees with Paige to do the Orange Ribbon campaign to make Rick want to leave Degrassi. Unfortunately, Rick doesn't leave Degrassi, despite this being a catalyst for students to bully Rick, in a sense. So Rick, you know, is in for it. The students don't like him. They're wearing the Orange Ribbon to try to get on Rick's case and, you know, force him out. Rick decides to give Emma more than 550 is it $550 or something like that? I don't know the exact number, but simply put, he's trying to buy his way out. Emma looks at the check. Alex rips it up and shoes Rick away. And then Emma says, thanks, Alex. You don't know much about the cause. And Alex gives this diatribe about, you know, her mother going through abusive boyfriends and them living in women's shelters. And you got to feel for Alex. I mean, she's dealing with this situation. She's had this done before. But of course, you know, Ruber spreads to Emma. A page Emma is told not to have any sympathy, but Emma doesn't. She trips Rick up to prove her loyalty. And then all of a sudden, you know, he goes up to talk to her, but Spinner and Jay think it's something wrong. So they beat the tar out of Rick. Alex is ready to go next. Unfortunately, Emma stops that from happening. And Emma is basically shunned from the friend group and no orange ribbon campaign. Emma's all by herself. She doesn't really have much interaction with anyone other than the quiz bowl team and that leads to Rick getting into Emma's good graces in a sense and trying to get Emma back because in Rick, in, Rick in the back of his mind said that Emma was willing to stand up to the bullies and I also said that Rick potentially figured that Paige was getting in Emma's ear spreading false rhetoric about him. I mean it's understandable he doesn't like when people do this to him but he's like you know unreasonable so anyway, yeah, so I did a post about this Degrassi 
and poll nine days ago, and for context, it's been taped on September 22nd, 2022. What do you think Emma's main reason for the Orange Ribbon campaign season four was? Emma may have had some blame to do with Rick being bullied. But she did have it taken away after protecting Rick, quote unquote, outside the dot. And that, I mean, the Orange Ribbon campaign. But what do you think her reasoning behind this campaign was above? I give you, I give four options and all that. Now, 134 people actually voted for this. And, well, there are six options. There was to gain a new friend group in Page's Circle and stick it to Manny and Liberty, or to generally get Rick out of, generally get Rick out thinking Degrassi shouldn't have him, or to crusade for domestic violence to make herself look good, or to get back at Raj for saying her crusades are stupid, or the combination of two, three, or even all four of them. And I put six options with other specifying comments. And a lot of people said there was a lot of combination and all that. So a lot of people want the combination. Um, let me just get my my phone and to see the combination of things. I want to know. I just want to know. 61 divided by 134. So that was a 45.5% people said that one. However, let's I'll go over the the four other options and basically give you the numbers. All right, so here we go. First number, um, strangely enough, when I did the things in order, the first option got the bigger number of the four, second, third, fourth. Okay, so with eight votes at number four was to get back at Raj for saying her crusades are stupid. Now, as I mentioned when I did my a context, is that, you know, Raj saying that her causes are stupid because, you know, he doesn't like that. Of course, there's always a second option. There's always a, another meaning towards this one, not just because of the Rick Murray situation. This goes back to season two in Fight for Your Right when Emma and her group, including Ashley, want to ban non ban GMO foods from the cafeteria. That's genetically modified organic foods. And, you know, Radish says they put on a good presentation, but because of budget cuts and the fact that they were lucky to have a cafeteria, he can't do it. And I get it from Radish's point of view because, you know, students don't know much about budgeting and all that. Oh, shut it. Sorry, my phone's probably saying, be careful what you say, Cutter. But anyway, the budgeting thing. And, you know, students don't know much about budgetary things. Some students might panic because of that. But Emma didn't like it. And Emma basically want, passed out flyers about the food in the cafeteria. Raj takes them away. Emma does tell Manny he's going to wave, she's going to wave the white flag. And then they do a cafeteria commercial to stick it to Emma. And unfortunately, Emma getting very triggered in season two was just terrible. A lot of these things I say are basically based off of unpopular opinions. So down in the description will be the main unpopular opinion video of the four things I'm going to talk about. And the one about Crusades being stupid is, did Radish have a grudge against Emma pre-season four? Because when, fight for your right. Like Emma accidentally starts the food fight and Radish blames her for it. And Emma refuses to battle it. Buckled, bow down, slash buckled to him. But then Radish is upset when she protests outside school grounds and says, You will apologize for everything or you will be suspended for a long time. Emma writes an apology to Radish on cue cards, and Radish looks him over and says, I'm glad we came to this. Well, Sp Snake also told Emma that it's complicated for him because as an educator, he can't go against his. Um, superior, but as a parent, he knows that Emma's heart's in the right place. So Emma does apologize for the food fight and to the cafeteria and says that you don't have to like my genetically modified foods options and all that. That's fine. But I got ruined by free speech and Raj looks protruded. And so Emma tells them, I'm going to take the suspension. And Raj is upset. He does it anyway. I think he knew he had to. 
And part of me thinks that Raj had to because he was worried the students were going to run him out, or basically the inmates were going to run the asylum. You don't know much about Raj and all that. I know that Rachel Violetta said that, you know, he was just a figurehead in a sense, and he lost touch with his students. But still, that doesn't make things happen and all that. I mean, everyone thinks, okay, maybe he put those people in Saturday detention because of grudges against them. But no! Sean stole stuff from Degrassi. Raj didn't have the proof, but that punishment was basically because of it. Um, Hazel looked at some inappropriate sites. I will get you in trouble every time. Ellie was cutting classes. Maybe it was because of her problems dealing with her mother and all that. But then it was found out she purposely did that to get a story for her newspaper article. Thank God that it happened to be that. If it happened to be something to do with Radich, he would have been dead beat. And Toby and Jimmy were in trouble for changing grades on school computer. You can't do that. So that's the big part. And Radich probably is upset because Emma's crusade is trying to make him look like a bad guy. And he's trying to prevent that. Now, to me, it's like Snake probably had a hunch that Raj was just having it out for Emma. And if that got out, then Snake would have definitely stayed away from Raj. Although Snake cut himself off from Raj because of Raj not taking the aftermath and Rick seriously enough. From Rick's incident in Time Stand Still. So, yeah. All right, so number three reason with 11 votes was to crusade for domestic violence and make herself look good. It's basically put, Emma was a pain in the butt in the first few seasons of Degrassi. She had a lot of crusades and she had a lot of egotistical stuff and all that. She was precocious, easily triggered, and making mountains out of molehills. Especially in season two, and that would be the unpopular opinion I will link to down below in the description. But let's, look, let's face it, Emma wanted to be the cause girl, and she knew she was the cause girl, and everyone called her the cause girl. They didn't think of her in any capacity at Degrassi. So the simple fact is that, you know, she wanted to, a new crusade because she didn't really crusade for domestic violence as much in the first three seasons. She, she crusaded for the environment. She crusaded for abortion rights, kind of in a sense, when, you know, Spike wanted to abort Baby Jack, uh, she wanted to crusade for, uh, what else did she want to crusade for? Genetically modified foods, and, you know, a few other things that she would do. But the fact of the matter is, she knew she was the cause girl, and she knew that she could get into Paige's click easily. Even though that she was being Branded, a.k.a. stereotyped, she still thought she was good and all that. And Emma wanted to make herself look good in everyone's eyes. And, you know, that's not good at times. But, yeah. All right, okay. Number two was, with 16 votes, was to genuinely, genuinely, pardon my pronunciation, get Rick out of, out thinking Degrassi shouldn't have him. Emma had a point. Degrassi should not have had him back the school. She heard what happened to Terry McGregor. And, you know, Rick getting away with it. Yeah, he got pulled out of school. He got pulled out of school by his parents. He wasn't expelled. It was his parents who took him out because Rick probably cried crocodile tears and lied about Terry's state of affairs. I think in a sense, Emma wanted to change everyone's perceptions about her and all that. I don't really know what unpopular opinion I have done to actually coordinate getting that down in the description, but I think it will be just the Orange Ribbon campaign um, storyline for that. But the problem also with me is that that video is actually dated by a few years, so I think things, what I talked about two years ago, are different than what I talked about now in 2022, but still. So anyway, to generally get Rick out, like Emma felt like, you know, it's not supposed to happen and all that. And with the deleted scene, and that will be a unpopular opinion I will talk about and tape later on today, but the simple fact is, you know, yeah, Radich couldn't kick Rick out because of hearsay and all that. That's understandable. I guess it could kind of, um, yeah, orange ribbon campaign. 
Right. But number one, the folks that were not the combination, 61%, 61 people said it was a combination, but 34 per people said to gain a new friend group. I kind of figured that was going to be number one. I put the combination down. Oh, shoot, I should have done, like, people's comments. People were commenting on this. I should, you know, put that back with the comments because people want to see. So there were five comments and all that. Well, I took, well, because I had to vote on my own poll to get the results. I said, I vote combo because she has legit beefs about trying to gain friends and sticking it to Manny and Libby for leaving her. To make yourself feel good as a top goss girl. And Raj did poke the bear again. Because, you know, Raj poked the bear with Emma in season two. But, yeah. So, yeah, the four the four options. Number one was the friend group because she was so gung ho to prevent Chris and Liberty from dating each other that she alienated Liberty and Manny. And she does deserve it. Let's say, let me say that now. And she was trying to tell those two, Manny and Liberty, that she doesn't need their friendship. She was, of course, lying. Number two was thinking thinking that why would an abuser come to Degrassi in the first place when she hears about his misdeeds? Number three is that orange ribbons are for domestic violence, and as the cause girl, she can keep up her facade, which actually got crushed because of Rick having the gun in her face and the lack of causes she did after season four. And number four was, you know, me describing Raj telling Emma that her crusades were stupid and stay out of it. And she's, st she's still grumpy at Emma because of fight for your right. So, yeah. So, to gain a new friend in Paige's circle and stick it to Manny and Liberty. Well, Emma brought that on to herself. I will say that much. You know, that Emma then tells Liberty, I just wanted Chris back. I missed him. Then why did you break up with him? Maybe Emma broke up with Chris. I feel like she broke up with him and thinking she didn't need him. But then she's like, oh, maybe I do need him. Whoops. Big mistake, Emma. You've alienated yourself. So, yeah. And stick it to Manny Liberty. Yeah, it was in the scene in the bathroom when Paige says, there's a monster in our school and no one wants to do anything about it. And Emma says, we'll do something about it. And then they have that meeting at the dot. But then Emma finds Manny and Liberty conveniently in the bathroom and says, I'm going to sip on a green tea with Paige. Have fun with your hot tub. Leaving Liberty and Manny shocked at the fact that Emma was clapping back in their faces. I think that's how you say it. Remember, I'm 37, so I don't know much about the slang nowadays. But, yeah, I feel like Emma felt betrayed that Manny and Libby would leave her. Even though it was Emma's fault, mind you, as I keep saying. Uh, i got to remember which unpopular opinion I did about that. So I'll have to write down... What is going on? Why is my thing blowing up? Are there? Is it fan base or is it just people saying, What the fuck are you talking about, Cutter? What you talking about, Cutter? But the simple fact is, you know... Hey, Emma wanted to hang her up with some people. She could have found secondary characters that had no impact on the Rick Murray situation, but, you know, she wanted to find a friend group. And she felt comfortable with Paige, Hazel, Jimmy, Spinner, Alex, and Jay. And all that, that she's in, she's with the in crowd, and she doesn't need many in Liberty. But then, of course, you know, they took to her cause too much, and the incorrect way, and Emma was upset with herself. In a sense, she kind of saw how the Orange Ribbon campaign was and said, screw that, I'm going to help Rick out at the cost of losing her friends and basically only hanging out with the Chris Bowl team of Heather, Sinclair, Toby, and Rick. Of course, Toby and Rick kiss Emma, part of the kissing bet, while Emma gets get some pity kisses. That's true. So, you know, it was hard to believe. Emma had done this to try to get a new popular group they cut her out. I just wish that Emma had got revenge on them. Because, you know, they dumped her off. She would get revenge on them. Her revenge on Manny and Liberty were trying to, was trying to get into Paige's click. But how sh would she get revenge on the school? Shunning her. And I still feel to this day that for some real reason, Paige must have spread something about Emma. And that's why Emma was shunned by most of the school. And she only had the Blissful team to go by. I feel in a way... That Paige, you know, was giving Emma some hard time. I even wrote a fanfic that as my character to try to help Emma cope with the problems, I attack Paige. Because Paige refused to acknowledge that maybe she was wrong in spreading the 
the rhetoric about Emma that made Emma unpopular. But that's as far as I'm going to go with this. So I got comments. A um, few people said, oh, she just voted for a combination. Capital study says, I voted for a combination of all the reasons. Emma may have meant well at first with the Ribbon campaign, but her intentions for it were less than pure. Uh, Candy said, from my understanding, she was ostracized from her normal group and looking for friends. I do think she already, she originally did believe Rick was wrong and should be back at the school. And Emma is known for her causes when she's not exactly in the right. Someone said, I think in the beginning it was just Emma being Emma. There were several instances of her fighting for a cause before the Rick thing. And when she heard what he did, I think it bothered her that there were no consequences. It spiraled out of control because she didn't have her real friends to keep her in check like she did before. Instead, I had the mean girls hyping her up. So she played it up to fit in. Makes sense. And Mary Mortician said, I think Emma ultimately had her heart in the right place, but went about it kind of wrong. That's the topic sentence with Manny, Manny and Emma's friendship, like Emma being a better friend to Manny. It says, she has her heart, her heart's in the right place, but she went about it kind of wrong. So that's what I think. And fight me on that. Seriously, fight me on it. Anyway, thanks for watching this. I'm Jeff Diamond. Thanks for watching.